Hi everyone, Chris here, and I am super excited because I just got home from my first of four watercolor classes. Mm, pretty exciting. They're doing uh, watercolor classes on the Eastern Promenade as sort of a fundraiser, which is great. So that's why it's all sailboats, because that was the view. I like it. And you may be asking, what does watercolor class have to do with instructional design? Watercolor class has everything to do with instructional design. And so does the uh, Portland Adult Education Catalog, and so do all kinds of other courses. Because as instructional designers, trainers, teachers, anybody dealing with training or education, we absolutely should be taking as many classes on a variety of subjects um, as possible. I remember it was last fall, I was taking this great class on InDesign, which if you don't know InDesign, it's a great tool to use. But I found myself having trouble learning about InDesign in the class because all of the notes I was taking were about the way the instructor was facilitating the class. And, you know, it's one of those things that, that we'd sort of do naturally, um, but we should be taking classes and observing how instruction works. Watch the instructor, watch the class, see the interaction. We were talking about um, the Kirkpatrick method of evaluating instruction a while ago, and one of them was the reaction mode. The reaction level, level one. Taking a class is a great way to gauge that level of, and evaluate that class in that level right there. You're there. You can see how people are reacting. How do people react to certain mannerisms and certain approaches? Taking classes and observing other instructors, going through and seeing other um, materials is essential to sort of build your own tool belt and know different things that you can try to improve your own practice. In fact, I believe this so much that I should probably talk to my accountant about uh, seeing if I can't write off these classes as a business expense. It's that fundamental. So that's my tip for the day. Pay attention to any opportunity you have to take a course and watch for examples of both instructional design in the wild as well as facilitated instruction that you can take a part of. So yeah, get out there and learn something fun. It doesn't have to be directly related to instructional design. You could take an art class, which is, I suppose, kind of related. Um, but I'm thinking about signing up for a ukulele class, and that is definitely not related to instructional design, other than watching how the instructor facilitates the classroom. It all ties together. So go out and take some classes. And uh, yeah, peruse adult education. And I found the, I found my watercolor class. Ooh, look at my first watercolor. I found that on Facebook. So Facebook events is another great place to look for those. Alrighty, I'll talk with you tomorrow.